Anyway, welcome, good afternoon to St. Mary's Perivale, if you're out there. A very warm welcome for our Tuesday afternoon piano recital. We have a keen discerning audience here in the church and a keen discerning audience out there somewhere in the stratosphere. And we have a great piano recital today by one of our uh, most popular and best pianists, Meng Yang Pan, charming young woman. She's been playing for us about 15 years, probably done about 20 recitals for us, Meng, something like that. And they're always fantastic. And this afternoon, you can see the program on the website, or if you're in the church, we've got the program here. Basically, it's Debussy Image Book 2, three pieces in that. Then we have Mussorgsky's Pictures, one of the great classics of the piano literature. It gives me a huge pleasure to welcome back my close friend and fantastic pianist, Meng Ang Pan. And to be able to, oh, you can hear this better. <laughs> and to be able to play it to a live audience, thank you, Hugh, so much for giving us this opportunity and to help us musicians throughout the pandemic. Couldn't be more grateful. Yeah. And so for today's program, I specifically chose pieces that were inspired by either paintings or pictures or images. And so we're going to start with Debussy Image Book 2. Now, this is a, a, a book that consists of three little piano pieces. And the first piece is called Bells Through the Leaves. And you will hear that it's kind of, it has a quite outworldly tonality. That's because Debussy was very much inspired by the gamelan music, which he first heard when he visited the Paris uh, Universal Expo. And there he heard um, Javanese, Jav no, sorry, Javanese um, musicians play at the expo. So the piece is very floaty. It, I think it consists a lot of different gamelan um, instruments, and that is something that I want to kind of bring out um, during my performance. And the second piece is actually it has a very poetic title, which is called "And the Moon Sets on uh, Sets Over um, the Temple That Once Was." So again, it has. Apparently, the title comes from a Chinese poetry, so again, a little bit of Oriental influence there. And in comparison to the bells uh, through leaves, which has a very long melody, this time the melody is quite fragmented, and the, the piece is filled with very pungent um, uh, dissonance. And what I would recommend everybody to, uh, to listen out for is the almost... Um, floating sonority is absolutely surreal and it's beautiful in a very sort of melancholy way. And finally, we have probably one of his most famous pieces out of his set and also in his compositions, and that is The Goldfish. And in comparison with the previous two, this one is uh, full of virtuosity and um, it's very um, charming, graceful, and he basically composed this based on a painting that he actually owned himself. And it's a, a pair of gold-colored fish set up on this um, lacquer sort of um, panel. And it's just incredible to play. So thank you.
you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Wasn't that entertaining, the, the goldfish? It can really come alive, doesn't it? Well, talking about something else that's coming alive, and that is the pictures of the exhibition. So this is a, a huge 35-minute piece, and uh, what I, I've, I mean, I played it for about 10 years of my life, and I feel that every time I play it, um, I grew closer to it, it becomes more personal to me. And I think that is why, again, today I want to play this for you, because um, I can really connect with every single character that comes from those paintings. So what are those paintings? So the, the, the original painter was, uh, is actually a, a good friend of Mussorgsky's, and um, his untimely passing was actually the sort of incentive for Mussorgsky to, play, uh, to, to write this piece. And actually he wrote this in a frenzy, and he I think it took him 20 days to complete the whole, whole work, which is incredible. But um, soon after the piece was actually published, though, um, many, many composers start to transcribe this piece for orchestra. So I think a lot of people who, didn't, who don't really go to concert very often probably are more familiar with the, the orchestra version of this piece rather than the actual piano work. So I think it's really good to actually hear the original work to get a sense of just how grand and how uh, personal this work is. Many, many paintings in there include a very sinister uh, looking uh, gnome, which is actually built into a nutcracker. And we also have um, sort of um, fighting kids, you know, fighting each other, sort of getting annoying, annoying each other. Um, we also have um, a Polish cattle cart and old castle with, a, with a, a singer singing very, very melancholic songs. And on the other side, after I think about 20 minutes, we have um, pictures such as um, uh, the market. There's like people fighting in the market. You can almost imagine people throwing vegetables at each other. <laughs> I, 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 I certainly do that when I'm playing that piece. And of course, because this is actually a piece written for his dead friend, there are pieces that's very spiritual. So there's one that's called, actually called um, To the Dead with, uh, in, the dead, the, in the Dead Language, which is something that I think he's kind of spiritually talking to his friends. I'm sure I'm missing quite a few, but there's quite a lot to cover. But anyway, I really do hope you enjoy this because I certainly do. Thank you.
Well, that was an absolutely wonderful recital by a wonderful pianist. It's uh, when you hear a masterpiece played like that, it comes completely anew and afresh. I thought the range of sounds and the characterization of everything was quite masterly. And although we've had that piece a few times here, it never sounded quite like that. It was terrific. And so was the Debussy, wonderful pianist and super young woman and friend. And we'll get her back many time and oft. Um, just to uh, thank you very much for w uh, watching from afar. Apologies for any minor glitches in the transmission. There will be a high-definition copy up, uploaded within an hour or two. Uh, so you lot in the audience, if you want to hear it again, can hear it when you get home. Uh, later this week, tomorrow, we have a jazz piano. Uh, we have a jazz concert every month to widen our horizons and palette and everything we're not that stuffy so tomorrow there's jazz so if you want to come along and hear something a bit more groovy do and then on Thursday we have a list recital by Andrew Yangu who's a wonderful pianist local as it happens born and bred in Ealing fantastic pianist specializes in list and it'll be terrific uh, please give generously uh, both the virtual audience and the live audience because we need that to keep going as always uh, none of our staff are paid it's all run by volunteers so anything you give goes either to the musicians or a bit to pay our overheads otherwise it's all to the musicians and my word they deserve it it's terrific today thank you very much for being here and uh, if you've been watching from afar good, very good afternoon to you and And, and for you here, thanks for very much for being here.